Hello and welcome to the back nine of round one of the 2024 Music City Open presented by Lone Star Disc. Uh, we are at Mill Ridge Disc Golf Course, uh, the sixth stop on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I'm Erica Sinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We're your two hockeys. Honk. Uh, we've been at Mill Ridge uh, the last couple years, but totally redesigned layout, a lot of new holes here. Uh, we are seeing some pretty hot scores, especially from Holland Hanley, who's six down in the front nine. We aren't actually watching her, but we're checking in with her. Our we might as well be. Yeah, our feature card consists of Kristen Tatar, who's two down, Haiti Lane at even, line A, sorry, Cadence Burge one over, and Deanne Carey at two over. Uh, it looks like to be in the top 10, uh, you need to be under par, but we have a really difficult back nine coming up here. Yeah, the front nine averaged at two strokes over par. The back nine averages closer to four or five strokes over par. So this course just plays tough in general. Let's start with hole 10. It's a new hole from last year. You have to carry the water and there's an out-of-bounds line all the way down the left-hand side. Yeah, so if you don't land in bounds, it's a mandatory drop zone. Um, you kind of want to push straight to be safe, but then that's the par play. To get aggressive, you want to hyzer off the tee, kind of close to that out of bounds line, um, but it's risky. That second shot you can tell is really difficult. There's another tree clump in the way, right in the center. You got to choose right or left of it. Checking in again with Holland Hanley, leading the field by two right now. So you can see here's the clump. She's going to go big hyzer around everything. That looks amazing. Wow. With a nice skip to boot inside the circle. This one, oh man. She just made it look so easy, but it is <laughs> yeah. so hard. She's covering so much ground on such big hills. Yeah. It's a really good summary. I feel like <laughs> she looks so good. She's, she's like, she's I like got whoa. This one? <laughs> this one? Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of birdies on this hole for the weekend. It just feels really risky to, you know, swing too far to the left. You can see Kristen pushing really straight. She actually even catches a branch. This had one of the lowest birdie percentages, but still not one of the hardest holes of the weekend. That says a lot. Yeah, it's not that hard to par, especially if you, you know, are trying to do that from the beginning if you're not getting aggressive. Like you can see Cadence just going straight towards the drop zone. That drop zone is far. I didn't range find it, but you would have to throw as far as Holland to try to save par from there. Actually, Holland was in front of that and still you saw how much power it took to get there. Everyone with nice, safe, straight tee shots here. Let's see if Haiti wants to get aggressive. This is where hole one was last year, right? Was it one? I mean, it's this was the old water carry shot that we were talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, which was like 16, I think. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Just um, a little more angled now. Yeah. So similar shot kind of, but we are a lot closer to the gap. And then you, this is like where old, old hole one's yep. tee pad was like two years ago or three years ago. Old, um, old. Yeah, old, old. Um, Kristen... Uh, chooses the left side, which I actually like a little bit better. Um, it takes more distance to swing around to the right. The left is tricky, though. You just want to make sure you land far enough to the left to open up the sidearm line. <coughs> Cadence, is she? Kind of, I think she might be kind of in the middle. That's going to be a tough third shot, I think. Looks like Deanne's lining up the right side. Power play side. Lexi side. Dead center side? Yeah. And she's going to be it's confident fun. in her scramble abilities. I mean, it's definitely not what she was intending, but um, she's right next to the trees, so it should be easy, hopefully, to hit one of those gaps. That gap we saw Holland hit on the right side, just the pure house. Heiser really does take an immense amount of power. Haiti can throw so far, and she doesn't quite get the ground play that Holland got, but still very impressive shot. Yeah, just to have a look for Birdie on this one. I mean, Kristen Tatar not even messing with Birdie, just doing the classic par play. Yep. Classic hole 10. Game plan. Every other. That's what she's doing. Every other Birdie. Cadence 
left with some small gaps, but she finds one and uh, goes deep. Deanne with a tricky little approach. Yeah, she's close enough, though, that it wasn't quite as bad or as tricky as Cadence's. She also goes deep, though, <laughs> and you can tell how she feels about it. <laughs> a dramatic head tilt. Haiti with a very sharp downhill, low ceiling look, and she doesn't want any part of it. Super smart play. There were only two birdies today. We saw Holland Hanley get one. Haley King was the only one to get the other. Cadence unable to save par from just outside the circle. There's probably a lot of bogeys today. Did you already say how many? Or like percentage? No. 40%. Oof. Yeah. This one averaged at almost a full half stroke over par. Yeah, one these new holes are brutal. <laughs> Some of them. It's wild that this is still, with only two birdies and 40% of the field bogeying, that this is still only the seventh most difficult hole. Yep. And that's with not so terrible conditions. Yeah, it really wasn't too bad out there. They actually didn't have to deal with that mist for very long, which is nice. Plus the wind doesn't look bad now either. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Par feels good on that one. Haiti and Kristen to card the pars while Cadence and Deanne don't make those comebackers and, or sorry, don't make their par safe putts. I don't know what it is with comebacker today. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to bogey. We're going to move on. <laughs> Kristen hanging on to that two down. It's going to put her in a tie for sixth. Colin uh, still seven, seven down through ten and I believe bogey free. Hole 11 is a par three, another new hole. It's only 272 feet on the screen, but I had someone range find it and it was over 300. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the trees on the right are kind of the main obstacle because it makes you throw more of a linear shot at it. You can't really swing anything wide. It is a right to left sloping hillside. So if you throw anything with too much hyzer, you are gonna kind of trickle to the left side of that hill. It's still very, it's a gettable birdie for sure, but you just, you need to put a little bit more on it than you think. Let's check in with Silva Saarinen, new player to team MVP this year, getting to know her bag and showing us how it's done. <laughs> you know what's funny is honestly aiming towards that tree isn't the worst play. No, I think it is the play. Yeah. There's just not a lot of room for any other really deliberate line. Mm -hmm. And man, she's a good putter. Squeaks it in. With her new putters. Holland, seven down through 10, looking for an ace. Wow, what <laughs> a great hyzer flip up the middle, just dead straight on a rope. That is a really high quality shot and, and high quality putt. And that is a comebacker, folks. Hey. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, she went deep and came back for the birdie. But she went deep on the drive, so mm -hmm. arguably it's not. Mm. That's what I said earlier for Deanne's, and it was wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Kristen, going to flip something up at that tree. And fade just in time. Perfect. That was a gold line Saint Pro. She's so good at flipping that disc up. Haiti taking a little bit more of a flex angle at it with something overstable. I like that play with the wind that we can see now, and it checks up nicely inside the circle. Great shot. Cadence calling oh, yeah. for it to get under that branch, and it sure does. It an active premium astronaut. The disc, disc mania names are fun to say. Mm-hmm. D 
Dan fading out too early. She's going to be, I think, pretty deep in circle two. Only nine people were able to get to circle one in regulation. We watched three on our lead card, our feature card. Dan giving it a strong bid for birdie. Cadence in the bucket. <laughs> that her hyzer putt is interesting. Like she gets a lot of loft on it too. Mm -hmm. Like I can't actually tell when it's gonna go in. It's a pretty unique style of putting. Great in all wins except for right to left. Yeah. Katie following suit with her own birdie putt, ending a little streak of pars. Yeah, and getting under par for the round. Ooh, Dan off the top on her par putt. Such a great putter, but her style of putting being aggressive and very direct and linear, you can see how it can sometimes get you into a weird situation. She makes good on that comebacker, though. Mm -hmm. Kristen, not sure if she's in the bullseye or not, but essentially parked here for another birdie. Every other baby with her scorecard. Just slowly stacking them up. Air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Holland's eight down. Gosh. I mean, I know she is because we just watched it, but it's still impressive. Moving on to hole 12. This is the old hole one from last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's out of bounds on that left hand side in the tree line. Your first shot, you're going to get through that gap and ideally get some good distance. Being further to the left, I think, makes it better for the second shot. But what makes it even better is having a distant sidearm and not having to mess around with trying to get a backhand, a late flip, or hold a turnover into this sloped green uphill. Um, I think mo a lot of players are just playing this one for par. Um, but Everything could be different from last year because everyone's gotten so good. And that out-of-bounds line way late in the game used to come into play for most people. I think if you only have the backhand, you might be thinking more par. Mm -hmm. But we do have more ladies that can go backhand than sidearm, which is the ideal play. Haiti looking for that to flip up. Yeah, it's fading too much. It looks like going to be out of bounds, but deep. So par is still reachable. Possible. Yeah. Cadence throwing the astronaut again. Looks like a very flippy disc. And that looks good. Deanne going to try to attack this one. She's not one of our players that does have a huge sidearm, but if she gets big backhand distance off the tee, and she's shown us today how great her placement shot ability really is. Yeah, that's a really solid drive. This is going to be a tough one. As Madison said, trying to wrap the corner, you really want to be more on the left side. Although, no, okay. That corner is freaking brutal. Thankfully, it's not out of bounds, but it can be really tough to scramble from. Deanne, with a more open look than Cadence just had, put some nice turn on it. And squeaks through that corner. Curse that corner. Kristen, just a little bit more right than you want to be, but she does have this great tool here. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Heck, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Wow, she went so, so far. That's insane. She threw a uh, tone salt. Um, that's crazy. Crushed. That's that is crushed. Insanely far. I feel like she's somewhere around the 400 foot mark, maybe more than that. It's got to be more than that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 450? Yeah. 
cadence with not a lot to work with, trying to get a cut roller up to the green. I had a little too much angle on it, and it does not get the chance to flip up and go straight at all. Oh, no. She's right back in it. Throwing four here. Catches a guardian tree, but it sits down nicely. She'll be right outside the bullseye. After she crawls out of there. <laughs> the rough here can be pretty dense and thorny. Deanne just going to lay up her third there. And that's a pretty classic way to play this hole, the way we saw Deanne. Haiti playing it like nobody else. Mm -hmm. Just like the easiest par in the world for having an OB stroke. Cadence really on that bogey birdie train. Kind of all round. Still only two over for the round, which, you know, isn't isn't too bad out here. It's crazy, Haiti, crazy that <laughs> Haiti was one of only four people to go out of bounds on this hole off the tee. And I, and I bet you 10 bucks she was the only one to save the, uh, oh, the yeah. par. I would, I would bet more if I, I were you. I kind of like that risk um, that she is able to take by having such big distance yeah. going super aggressive. Me too. Kristen breaking the mold, going two birdies in a row. <laughs> She's four down now. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, Dean, happy with that part. Yeah, bring in the sass. Always. Like we love. And Holland Hanley still holding on to that eight down, still with a four-stroke lead over Kristen. Hole 13, a... The same hole, essentially, as last year is a par four, 630 feet. The left side OB is so much tighter, but the shape, the T, the pin, all the same. Left side, so, so mean. You want to throw a forehand now. It used to be more of a backhand line, I think, but the forehand is the safer play to land in the biggest part of the fairway that opens up your your shot into the green. You can throw a backhand, but it's fight, uh, fading right towards that left side OB. Um, I, I'm wondering if that's why they did it, to force the forehand off the tee. Um, it's still not a bad hole. It's still reachable um, and actually a pretty fun one, but, like, boy, did they tighten it. Kristen with a good forehand, but it's, it's doing some stuff. Just dancing around out there, okay. showing off. <laughs> Shrugs. Yeah, a lot of players last year used to throw the backhand at that line of trees and just, you know, hope that it hyzers just before. Yeah, now if you do that, um, you tend to get the skips all the way to the OB. Haiti, oh, mm -hmm. finding that right side OB that is there. It's a little harder to find than the left. She, It looked like that was a mid-range. I think she was just trying to chill. <laughs> so that's a bummer. Yeah, steady cherry It was a mid. Deanne... Yeah, it even looks no like it way. came out a little late, but still finding that left side mm -hmm. comes up fast. Cadence opting for that backhand as well. That's a lot of ground to cover for a forehand and you won't see many FPO players doing what we saw Kristen do. And she throws that backhand great. She does. But you see how even that it was controlled. Good shot. Still pretty close to the OB. Yeah, very risky. I think there are there are a lot of forehands out there, though. Just not landing quite as, as far, far as, as you want, want to mm -hmm. then go for the birdie. Yeah, Deanne, you can see, was on the short side, ha has to throw more of a hyzer angle into the green, and that was risky, but thankfully catches a tree. The OB used to be closer to that tree line we just saw to the left of Deanne. Haiti left with a really awkward look at it. Had some... Branches in her face, looking at a turnover. She catches the left side woods. Thankfully, it just drops down. If you go any further left, it can get so brutal to get up and down. Yeah. 
And down here, I believe the right side is all inbounds, and then the left side, you can actually find OB pretty quickly over there. What a shot from Cadence. Beautiful. Oh, the right side is out of bounds in it, the tree line. Is it in the tree line? Yep, but is that new? it pushes in. Um, I, ooh, I don't remember. I can't it, remember the either. wood sign over there is so dense that it it's yeah, pretty difficult it's, to get, find you it. You generally don't see people go OB over there. Kristen with a really great forehand kind of flex line. Keeps it nice and low so nothing too crazy happens. Haiti with, I think, a, it looks like a berg. But regardless, it's in the circle. This, let's see, played as the second most difficult hole of the day. Yeah. Kristen just laying up. I Yeah, I do think the, the tightening is unnecessary because if you landed too far left, like you just had a kind of a tough pinched approach shot mm -hmm. and now just a stroke. Yeah, 60% of the field bogey or worse on Ouch. this one. Yeah, and only two birdies. Haiti for a bogey. Dang, that's crazy. Deanne for her bogey. And five up through 13 is... Only three people got to circle one in regulation and only four got to circle two. Wow, wow that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's, that drive is just pretty rough. Mm -hmm. Kristen with two really great forehands and still not able to even get a putt. Cadence, though. Risky backhand drive followed by... A really clean, beautifully straight approach shot. Difficult to do. Yep, that's her second highlight birdie of the day today. Holland still four strokes ahead of Kristen, Haley King, Silva, Saarinen. Five strokes back of Holland. Moving on to hole 14. Very, is it similar? It's the same. same. They exactly just, the yeah, same. took the tree out. Oh, wow. The one guardian tree I forgot is gone. That Mando still in effect, so you can't pitch something out to the right. The out of bounds does come into play with a tree kick, so you want to keep something low and something you really trust. I like a forehand flex play, but a lot of players were even breaking this up into a two shot hole last year, just throwing something slow like a putter or a mid up the middle and then chipping out to the green. I think without that tree, though, we're going to see a lot more aggressive lines. Um, like the, the backhand flex is way more there now. Mm. Holland catching one of those last corner trees and kicking left, but... Lost it. Weird. Is. That sucks. So likely they looked for the you know full two minutes that you're allowed to look for a lost disc. And then it's just going to be a re-tee with a penalty stroke for Holland, which absolutely sucks because it's just in the grass somewhere. That is such a weird place to lose a disc. Oh, man. And with such a great round, too. What a bummer. Ugh. And going to result in a double bogey. That is not a tee you want to have to tee off from twice. That's so crazy that with everyone looking for several minutes that they couldn't find where that went. Wow. Ooh. Cadence hits the guardian tree. Not a bad place to land yeah. because on that right side, you can g go out over OB and approach the green. It's a little risky, but it's there. Oh, man. Kristen early as well. I think this one kind of baits you almost into like a hyzer flip up play that drifts. It's I love the standstill that Haiti's doing, mm -hmm. really forcing herself to th throw on the left side, but... It's just a t scary tee shot. I think she just put a little too much power into it. Good idea. Let's see if Deanne can dial this one in. Oh, yeah. That was so smooth. Yeah, she's going to get a putt with that one. Fantastic. And that one feels good. It's a very tight line in there. As we can see, everyone kind of struggling here, except for Deanne. Yeah, only four people got to circle one in regulation, only six to circle two. Haiti looks like the same disc and kind of same idea of a shot. 
And she gets out there really well. That's such a great recovery shot. Yeah. This, that can so quickly turn into a bogey. Cadence, not as much to work with over here. Um, a lot of low ceiling. Wasn't out as wide right as you want to be. Kristen throwing two here. Got the old trusty harp in hand. She'll have a little bit of a putt left for her par. Man, that lost disc from Holland is still blowing my mind. Yeah, that's such a bummer. You can see the wind starting to pick up a little bit. It was very prevalent on this green. It's just in the wide open. What a great scramble from Kristen. Only six people were able to scramble from mm. off the fairway on that, that on this hole. Yeah, that makes sense. It is very dense. And Deanne with the birdie. One of only four on the day. Jenny Karpinen, Natalie Ryan, and Chantel Budinsky, the only other birdies. Great par save from Haiti. Such a technical first shot, and second shot, and sometimes third and fourth shot. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but there's no way that she practiced from over there. You know what I mean? Yes. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool she was able to execute. Cadence finding the band and going to have to settle with a double bogey on this hole. There's no out-of-bound strokes. Oof, that hurts. And no lost disc either. That really hurts. Mm-hmm. After that double, Holland dropping down to six down, still just smoking the rest of the field. Just <laughs> annihilating the course with a lost disc mm -hmm. and a retee. Hole 15, a par five. Same hole as last year. Uh, it's 848 feet. First shot, you just want to end up to the left kind of over here. Second shot, you're picking one of the gaps. We flew through the right one. There is a left one. And you want to push more to the right side of this fairway to open up your final approach shot. They did clean up this kind of... Um, clump <laughs> of trees that are uh, just to the right of the basket, which is really nice because you're able to throw more of like a pure hyzer approach shot and not get really caught up. Um, and a, a lot of that stuff really didn't allow you to eat, like attack from circle two putts and stuff over there either. They also extended the basket a little bit. It I used think, to be elevated and oh, a little bit more center cut. Now think, they've pushed it back into next I, to those trees. I think that was two years ago. I think, wasn't it here? Last year? Or was it? Oh, it was. Okay. Okay. What is time? <laughs> yeah. What it, wow, but, they cleared that up a lot. A lot. But they didn't push it back that much farther. No, no. Like, only what, 40 feet. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Holland birdied it. She sure did. This was in the top five easiest holes of the day. It played fairly easy last year as well. It's a good par five for us, I think. It sure is. It's it's all about breaking it up. And you can very easily not get the birdie just by throwing one shot off. Deanne really hugging that OB line on the right side. And, and even though she's inside, just like Madison was saying, she's going to be pretty pinched on the second shot and might not be able to progress far enough to get the birdie now. Great looking shot from Kristen. A little Ooh. more <laughs> left than you want. But if it's you're fine. going to make a mistake, that's the way to air. Haiti disking down again to another mid. Really pretty little. And just crushing it. Wow. <laughs> just absolutely. Did I say little? Yeah. Really pretty big mid shot. That's her steady berry. That looks great, too, from Cadence. Yeah, nice full flight driver shot. Set it, she set herself up really nicely here, opened up to the gap. She can has room for some big distance. Yeah, I did say there's a left side gap, but only <laughs> you're only taking that if you, I don't know. Throw so far. So, th 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 yes. <laughs> Kristen did throw so far. 
She is way left, like we said, but opened up nicely to that left side cap. Oh, Oops. she's still going up and over. I like that play. Mm-hmm. She doesn't mess around. Yep. She doesn't give herself the opportunity to make a little silly little mistake like hitting a branch. <laughs> wow. That's a mid-range. Mm -hmm. Man. So cool. Haiti pushing towards out of bounds over yeah. there, but it's fine. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty wide. Man, that just blows my mind that she threw a mid that far. Deanne not barely able to bite off anything on the second shot. Not oh, even man. actually able to cross the goalie. Bummer. Still, you know, able to attack for par here. <laughs> attack for par. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of. Like, <laughs> these are not the easiest shots she has to throw to get it. Cadence just trying to throw something out wide and ideally hyzer over that hill. Just not mess around with that corner on the left side. The straight shot is just is a okay here. I think they cleared out that left side corner just a bit as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's still bad, but yeah. it is. It used to be brutal. Tolerable. Like you can actually scramble from a part of it. <laughs> Kristen swinging a hyzer and she'll she will be. Just outside the circle. Inside. It's Let's hard to see. tell. <laughs> She's playing the hole well, though, regardless of exactly where she landed. Deanne nice. inside the circle, for sure. Wow. Katie just left with a little standstill, floaty, slow disc shot. Her approaches are looking so good today. She, I feel like sometimes in the past we see her come in really hot mm -hmm. and not have the touch game, but we've watched her just stick these greens over and over again. Cadence laying up for her par there. Almost a quarter of the field birding this whole 10 people to circle one in regulation, 22 to circle two, so... Kristen well outside, like we said. Gonna settle for a par. Ah, uh, Deanne left side chains for her par save. Haiti, nice. Yeah, Haiti breaking this hole up really nicely. I love the mid play off the tee. She's going to walk away with a birdie. Yeah, that was sweet. Cadence, unfortunately, having to play that birdie, bogey, birdie, bogey game, but her game's looking nice. She's a... Uh, She's keeping it pretty consistently in the middle. Just some little tiny mistakes. Deanne having a rough go of it. And after all that, we move on to the hardest hole of the course. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Looks like Holland made it through these holes with another birdie. Seven down. So one of my friends gave me this set of DGPT trading cards because they know I'm into disc golf and looking at tiny pictures of my favorite players, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> a relic card. It's, <laughs> it's, it's got a piece of disc in it from Paul Macbeth. Ha! So apparently that Paul Macbeth relic card was pretty rare and worth a lot of money. So I got three more sets. You know, the more I do this, the more I see why people get so intense about trading cards. I'm still doing this ironically, by the way. Oh my gosh. Six time to 20, on card auto, case hit, bookend. It's gotta be at least a nine. Look, look at how perfect that is. Those sharp corners. Three big hits, only two dupes. Oh, this box was a banger. I'm definitely sending this in. I'm buying all the Heimberg I can get my hands on. So if you see something,
hole 16 is the same as last year at 574 feet. You think, hmm, pretty simple par four, but look at all the stuff you have to navigate. You wanna throw something out here on the left-hand side, but don't push too far straight. It comes into play surprisingly fast. Your second shot has to be a, a big forehand on this dog leg right. And look how close that out of bounds. It's a little bit more pinched this year. You also have the out of bounds on the right hand side. If you try to throw your distance sidearm, but you find out I can't throw it that far, you go out of bounds short. <laughs> so. It's fun. I like that you said has to be distance sidearm question mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult to get anything else there. Yeah. You can see Holland seven down, huge forehand, still just gonna pitch up here. Yeah, not even trying to play aggressive on this hole. And I think that's smart to play this one for par. Yeah, it just doesn't quite feel worth it. It played as the most difficult hole almost every round last year as well. Yeah, I'm a little bummed they didn't make it a bit more attackable. Ooh, Holland, I would say first unforced. Well, I guess she did miss that tee shot, but. Has to make a test or comebacker for bogey and she hits it. Katie up first. That looks like the same disc she just threw on the last one. That one is a little low and burned, though. Yeah, doesn't quite air it out. Like I said during the whole preview, it's so easy to find that out-of-bounds deep, especially with the power that Haiti has. The forehand is a cool play. I was going to say, as long as you don't skip too close to that tree line, because then it can be hard to hit the gap. That looked great. The stats on this hole are crazy, how different they are from the rest of the holes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. It's just everyone, you know, a lot of people are hitting the fairway, but I think it's because it's crazy to look at the stats for a hole where nobody's really going for birdie. Yeah. Everyone's just kind of chip, chip, chip. Chip, chip, chip. Mm -hmm. um, Cadence turned hers over. She's going to be dealing with, she, I don't think she's lined up to the gap very well. It'll be interesting to see what she does. Deanne, kind of the more typical mistake where you, fade out a little too far to the left, but it can make the next shot a little bit easier. You can see how difficult this is from Haiti. She's not really able to progress very far forward. It's easier to stay in bounds from where Deanne is, but not easier necessarily to get to the basket or anything. No, I mean, but like she can still cover a lot of ground to get the par versus was, like trying to chip something through a little gap. Yeah, that was a really pretty nice turnover shot. There is out of bounds on the left side. She really trusted her disc. Kristen is pinched, like Erica said here. Not able to do anything too crazy. Yeah, 98% of the field hit the fairway because no one's well, trying to go crazy. Yeah, like, <laughs> but oh, just I, because they've hit the fairway doesn't mean they were lined up to a gap, though, either. That's true. Yeah. 98. That's, <laughs> that's got to be the most all season <laughs> yeah, long, right? <laughs> oh, everyone but one. No offense to the one person. Yeah, sorry if that was you. <laughs> um, and only one person got to circle one in regulation. Only two people got to circle two in regulation. Wow. So that's just crazy. Yeah. Cadence trying to wrap the corner to get to the green she to take her par, but. Cut straight through. I think she's in bounds. She was definitely flirting with OB hard. Katie also flirting with OB and uh, does not get the same luck. Yeah. And she's out in a terrible spot on the early Ooh. side. Kristen, working the, the forehand, it was a left to right wind pretty strongly coming in here, so maybe she was just trying not to expose the underside of the disc too much with a hyzer. You can see Deanne does, and it's gonna push it a little. It's, oh, it's great, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only person that got into circle one apparently parked it, I wanna know. Emily Weatherman. Cool. Wow. Good one. I like that Haiti was giving that a run. She was in a really rough spot to try to manufacture something there. Man, that's a great hole to get. Yeah. Like big no ups, Emily Weatherman. Huge ups. The biggest. Kristen with her first bogey in a hot minute. Maybe an hour, actually. <laughs> Wow. Did you see where Cadence landed? She went through all of those trees that were all out of bounds mm -hmm. to land in bounds right there. That's crazy. 
60% of the field taking a bogey or worse here. So par feels great. Nice. Game plan par from Deanne Carey. Katie, unfortunately, undoing her work under par and going to move to one stick up. Cadence with the bogey there, moving to four up. Man, this back nine. Boo, hole 16. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed they didn't change it. it. Where it was two years ago. That short pin was a good one. But they could like split the difference mm -hmm. and it would be good. I feel like where the short pin was, it still was kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. It was short, but technical, which I love. <laughs> On Hanley getting through those holes cleanly though, still holding onto that six down. Hole 17 is a great change. They move the tee pad farther to the left, making it a better angle to attack. You're throwing over OB, um, trying to get past this stitch if you have the power to do it. If not, you're on the short side, then likely throwing a forehand or a backhand turnover to that one corner. <laughs> then you're trying to get out and around. I think um, if you can go backhand, then sidearm, then another sidearm, that's probably the best way to get there for a birdie. You're going to see a, a large combination of a variety of shots, though. Yeah, it's very dictated by where your tee shot landed on what the rest of the hole looks like. This is a really fun par five. It's it technical, it's difficult, but... But gettable. Very entertaining, yeah, and very gettable. Okay, I was actually wondering, so I can't get to that little ditch, but I was wondering if the big arms can, and it looks like maybe not. Holland going to throw a sidearm into a pretty good spot, but this is a really technical and long shot. Look and at this aggressive. thing. And aggressive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, she outdrives the whole She's hole. wild. Yeah, she is. We love it. Holland, you're Is she going to do it? Oh, my. I think she is. Don't you dare. Do it. <laughs> what a way to play this hole. Crazy. That third shot was unreal. Yeah, she really didn't get a lot of distance on the second shot. That third shot was everything. I do love this change very much. Me too. And it's nice to say that and not just be a downer. I don't hate everything, all right? <laughs> just hold 16. <laughs> and several others earlier. <laughs> Deanne with a good drive. So it is kind of nice to land on the left side of the ditch, um, Kristen, plenty of distance, but going to be a little pinched there. Even with the change, this still played as the fourth most difficult hole of the day. So it's but still it hard. it feels like you but can get it. Yeah, last year we were having to carry OB and re like almost re-tee. Yeah, it was just an awkward angle mm -hmm. to cross the OB. And required about 360 feet of distance on a turnover. <laughs> yeah, it, it was rough. Cadence across nicely. That looks slow speed as well. Haiti playing a different kind of game out here, and I like watching it. Yeah, unfortunately, it pushes a little too straight. She's going to be super pinched. I wonder if she'll try to go over the top. Yeah, you do occasionally see that play. Cadence looking to throw a big, oh, turnover here. Maybe, eh? Yeah. Maybe it's great. I love that line. Wow. So aggressive, but it works out really well. That was really good. Let's see what Deanne has for us here. Overturned. Oh. Even if it's not out of bounds, that is a really rough spot to be. Another attack for par situation? Yeah. <laughs> She's going over the top. She's got the power. Oh man. But that doesn't it looks like it's gonna come backwards. Yeah, it doesn't it did. yeah, doesn't get the angle, the nose angle down enough. And she's playing a game of MTA with a rough. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen is pinched, but she decides not to be too aggressive. We know she wanted that to be a little bit more right. I don't know what she has to work with from that corner. Oh, my gosh. Haiti going to a spot that maybe no one's ever been in. Or if they did, they went in from the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
just a pitch out. She probably cannot see the basket from here. And trying to get there with a backhand is going to be, I don't want to say impossible, but it's so far. Oh, no. That's OB around that corner, too, but I think she's safe. Cadence after a really risky shot. Whoa. Land safe and just going to do a placement shot here. Is she? I thought so. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, she's actually going to do a hyper aggressive <laughs> tight flex line. That was so good. So good. Oh, she goes in for a second high five and she's earned it. Wow. Yeah, what that angle control. That just turns at just the perfect time. As I said, it's way easier to get the sidearm down there inside the circle. The fact that she just <laughs> laced that is unreal. Two blind shots back to back. That's wow. so impressive. Uh huh. Kristen's third. Not able to be as aggressive as Cadence. Can probably get to circle two, though, pretty mm -hmm. easily. Or maybe a little short of circle two. All right, let's see what Deanne has to work with here. It's actually not I, as yeah, bad as I thought. Me too. I thought she was a lot more pinched. She has some room to work. Sweet. Nice. Oh, man. Haiti barely inbounds. Still a tough shot here. She's good at those little patent pendings, though. Whoa. Pretty high and overturned. That's going to be outside the circle. The errors are just kind of stacking up for Haiti on this one. Kristen not trying to get too wild here. Game plan is working. A par is fine on this hole. Like I said, it still is in the fourth most difficult hole of the day, even with the easier tee pad. Hey! Yay. Man, Deanne, it's like her third really difficult birdie that she has gotten. I know she's getting all the tough ones. A nice little jumper too. Yeah. Katie trying to save that bogey on this hole, but she'll have Man. to settle for double. Back to back doubles mm. after being under par the majority of the round. Ouch. Kristen in for par. Three down is great out here. It might not seem great after what Holland Hanley is doing, but it really is. Mm -hmm. There were seven birdies on hole 17 today, but almost half the field bogey or worse. So you can see how quickly it gets out of control. But that's why I like this par five, because you can, everyone in the field can get to the and, green. And everyone's attacking. Mm-hmm. Colin Hanley holding down to that seven strokes under par, now with a four stroke lead over the rest of the field. Hole 18. This is the same tee pad as year before, as or sorry, as last year. There's lots of circle two looks from a majority of the field though, but it's very difficult to get to circle one. Yeah, just look how blocked it is by these trees and that stump. Um, there's OB all the way around as well. It actually comes into play kind of fast on the right side. And it was, uh, at least when I came through, it was kind of a left to right wind, um, almost a headwind too, that kind of pushed, you can see the flag left to right, that kind of pushed discs over to that right side. And yeah, that's we the worst all, case scenario yeah, for this hole. We were all surprised at how close the OB was over there. Silva not stopping her from swinging it wide right. Yeah, she's having a clean back nine. It might not look that exciting, but two down on the back is insane. Bogey free. Bogey free all round, I believe. Nice. Bogey free four down. That's great. Let's watch Holland attack this green. And Holland, she throws the type of disc with in max weights where she can say what wind. Mm -hmm. That one was an early release, though. It's going to be way out in circle two land. 
Wow, seven down. I can't, man, it is unreal, the whole lost disc thing. Like, there was probably so many people looking for that, you know? Um, and the fact that she's still seven down with that, wild. A nice looking shot from Deanne. Getting some wind bounces, though, high, and it's going to come in a little shorter and more left than she wants, but that's fine. Yeah, even though it's downhill, it's it's pretty tough to get all the way there. Yeah, 429 feet is, ha is hard because it carries flat for so long before mm -hmm. it goes downhill. This is kind of, I think, the typical, yeah, play. It looks like a great shot, kind of just near circle two. Kristen has the power to attack here. Ooh, I like it. Swing in. Wow, so much power. She's about pin high, but in circle two. Yeah, it doesn't quite get the ground play you'd expect. And I think that wind kind of is holding it over, not letting it fade as early as she wanted. Still a great shot. Ooh, AD does not have an, a stable or overstable enough disc here. That goes far. Yeah, it's fine, actually. I think... That looks like her. Oh, wait, was that a slower disc? Yeah, okay, I think that, that was her cookie again, which is a seven speed. <laughs> okay, that was so confusing yeah, to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> again, just disking down, um, which is just a, a kind of a joy to watch her play so differently. Only three people got to circle one in regulation on this one. Mm -hmm. Not surprising. They made this a lot more difficult. They did. And look at... Even, you know, Cadence with a, not a bad tee shot and left with like a weird little putt scramble. Kind of a tester just to get to the green. <laughs> yeah. Haiti, one main tree in the way you can see that branch right there. She's trying to navigate past. And well, she, this is a very guarded green. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow, Chris, got inside the circle actually. I thought she was just outside. Still one branch in the way. Unable to convert. Dang. Great tee shot. Deanne really battled all day. She was at that five up kind of early in the round and managed to finish at four, even with you know quite a few bogeys in the middle stretch. And that's still going to be a solid score today. I know it probably doesn't feel great, but man, this course had a lot of room to stack up doubles and triple bogeys. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen going to walk away with a par on 18. Three down. She's capable of more, but three down is going to put her in a great position, probably on the lead card tomorrow. We've seen what Haiti's capable of out here. Yeah, so good for so long, but those doubles in late stage of the round is pretty rough, finishing three up on the day. Cadence also three up, also battling really hard, getting some fantastic birdies, some highlights for sure. And these are some fancy scorecards. Look at all the colors. <laughs> fancy, huh? <laughs> it's like Christmas. Oh, man. Our lead card tomorrow, Holland Hanley leading the way three strokes above Silva Saarinen. Uh, four strokes over Kristen Tatar and Haley King. Evelina Salonen in solo fifth, and then a pretty big tie for sixth. Only the top seven ladies under par. Back nine played hard. Yeah, it sure did. A lot of players taking a break this week because of the major that we have next week. Um, so kind of wild to not see some of our, our uh, typical leaders up on the scoreboard, but love seeing some highlights from other players. Can't wait to watch Silva attack this course tomorrow. Always love having Haley King on the card as well. Um, one more crack at it tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be sunny. I didn't even look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out. So you have to, you have to watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks again to the Founders Club. You guys are the best. Keep everything running smoothly over here in the Jomez booth. Um, this is round one of three. So come hang with us tomorrow at the Music City Open. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hockeys. Honk. <laughs>